Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new here. Hello, my name is Rebecca and I hope you're having a great, fantastic day. Now in today's video, I'm going to be replaying with some base makeup. So I'm going to be replaying with the W7 Legend Lasting Wear Foundation, the Juvia's Place Concealer in 23 and the Juvia's Place uh, I Am The Magic Setting Powder um, in White Sand. Bam. Loose powder. <laughs> Couldn't speak then. Loose powder. Um, I haven't played with these products in such a while, so I just thought it'd be really nice to jog my memory. Replay around with these face products and just, uh, yeah, just jog my memory if I really love these products or not. I'm going to be applying these to my face and let you guys know my thoughts about them. So if you guys are going to enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to on Instagram if you want to, link is in the description bar below. So, if you guys want to know my thoughts on the Juvia's Place Concealer, Powder, W7 Legend Lasting Wear Foundation, just keep watching. All right guys, let's replay with the W7 Legend Lasting Wear Foundation, the Juvia's Place Concealer in 23, and the Juvia's Place, um, I am a magic setting powder in white sand. My husband picked out all three of these products and I said to him, which ones do you want me to replay with? And he picked out those ones. So let's chuck them straight on my face. Okay, I've already applied a primer. I'm just using the last of my Gosh Cosmetics primer. I'm just using the last of this. So this is what it looks like. This is the uh, W7 Legend Lasting Wear Foundation. This is a dupe for, um, oh, um, Estee Lauder Double Wear, that's it. Now, what I can recollect from this foundation when I first tried it, I I really loved it, but the shade was a bit too dark for me. I do remember it being a little bit too dark. So, we're going to reapply it on. I shouldn't be applying this because this is so old. Still smells alright, actually. Yeah, still smells okay. So, actually, maybe I should give this a shake first. Um, yeah, because I tried to find the lighter shade for this, but... I remember this was the lightest shade, which is buff. And I remember being just a little bit too dark. I remember not applying a lot of it because a little goes a long way. Just blend this out with my beauty sponge. Oh yeah, I certainly remember the coverage. <laughs> this still looks really great. My skin still looks really smooth. It looks really, really smooth. Yeah, I'm loving the way this is looking. And on my forehead as well, it looks really, really smooth. Yeah, leaving it on for a few minutes, it has oxidised. You can see that it is slightly too dark for me. I still love the way this looks. And this foundation, you can make this look dewy or matte if you want to, really. So this pretty much works with any skin type, oily or dry. You can use a matte primer or a dewy primer. You can make it dewy or matte. So... I still love the way this looks. So I thought I'd try a matte primer because I definitely remember the last time it was, I'm pretty sure it was a dewy primer because it was a lot more dewy. But nonetheless, I really like it actually. I still really like this foundation. I'm going to move on to concealer. So my husband picked this one. This is the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 23. So this is what it looks like. And it has a massive doe applicator on it. Yeah, it's huge. Now, I remember this being very, very matte and quite drying, so you have to use this sparingly. So I remember that, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm only gonna apply, I'd say just about uh, that much really. And I'm gonna swipe some down here. Right, we will start blending again. Okay, I've just blended it out. The concealer is definitely very thick. A little goes a long way, I'm telling you. You can definitely see it's made my skin a lot brighter, but it's quite thick under the eyes. It's a very, very matte concealer, very full coverage. So if you've got oily skin, you might like this concealer. Yeah, like I said, I've, I've been able to make it work and I've been able to make the foundation match me better, but I have to use this absolutely sparingly otherwise I can't use it personally so yeah I've been able to make it work um, it's a very thick coverage concealer so 
just using it sparingly has worked but yes I need to be quite mindful of this concealer so it's not terrible um, it's just not particularly my favorite concealer it's still I don't feel still my favorite just got to be a bit careful how much I use right let's do the powder lastly so this powder this is the Juvia's Place powder I am a setting powder in white sands this is what it looks like sorry I've got it upside down Okay, so let's start setting my under eyes with it because that concealer is starting to cake under my eyes already. That's, that's how thick coverage the concealer really is. Okay. Just going to blend this out. Okay, I've set under my eyes. So let's just use a powder puff and get right under there. Right, I'm going to set the rest of my face a little bit with the powder. Might not be able to set it too much because, uh, yeah, it feels quite matte as it is. So, all right, guys, my second thoughts on the Juvia's Place powder, the Juvia's Place concealer, and the W7 Legend Lasting Wear foundation. So, let's start with the foundation first. I still love this foundation, it still applies great on my skin. It's a shame it's slightly too dark. But nonetheless, it's still a really good foundation. Like I said before, you can really custom this foundation. You can make this matte or you can make this as dewy as you like. So I love the fact this is a multifunctional foundation. Still like this foundation? I still think this is great. Now, the concealer. When I first used this concealer, um, it was very, very dry. It is full coverage. You're more of an oily skin person, you will like this, but for dry skin people, us, especially dry under eyes, you need to use this sparingly. You need to use like a little bit there and a little bit there because this is full coverage. A little goes a long way. The first time I used this, I used a lot under my eyes and it was so thick. It is good, it's done the job, you just got to use a little bit. A little goes a long way. The powder, when I first used this powder, I couldn't set my makeup very well with this powder and the reason being is because back then when I used this powder I believe from what my memory serves me I believe I had quite a dewy complexion so to set my face with a dewy complexion this took quite a while but when you've got a matte complexion so when your face is matte and you're not using anything oily or dewy on the skin this tends to set your face a lot quicker well People with, with, well, with a matte complexion, it will set everything on your face very quickly. I felt like I didn't have to use a lot of powder this time, whereas the last time I had to use a lot of powder. So depending on what base your base is, dewy or matte, I haven't overset it because I went in with powder products on top and that balanced it really, really well. So just be mindful of that. But I think this is a really good powder. So if I want to go for more of a matte look, I will definitely be using this powder. I think this is really, really good. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. If you have, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to go on Instagram if you want to. Link is in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, stay safe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bye guys, take care.